I'm feeling very excited and uh, that we're going to give praise and worship to the underprivileged and maybe change their lives in some way. Well, I, I'm, I'm here because I'm serving Jesus. I know Jesus wants us to do this kind of thing, so I'm here to to be his hands and feet, just to help out and see what I can do for him. No, I'm expecting a lot. I'm actually excited about today because, I mean, it takes me back to the scripture where the Lord says, you know, the harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. You know, I pray to the Lord of the harvest that he may send more laborers, you know, and this is the laborers that, uh, you know, he's talking about, so that really excites me. So it's not out of obligation that we're here today, but we're out of here because of a heart of compassion. Amen. This is where people live in Tembisa. In, in Ivory Park and, and so many times I think we don't understand sometimes the, the, the privileges that we have in our homes and where we come from and people do live in dire situations and this is Tembisa where we've come to minister and as the church of Jesus Christ we cannot just afford just to preach a nice message and to preach a positive message and see people come to Christ which is the most important message that we could have but it is so important that we honestly become the hands and the feet of Jesus uh, you know, the book of James says, uh, what does it help, my brother, if we say to someone, uh, you know, be fed, be warmed, I'll pray for you, and, and never meet their needs. And James goes on to say, let me show you my faith by my works, and you show me your faith without your works. You see, faith without works is dead. And so this is faith in action where the church of Jesus Christ reaches out to people in these kinds of situations to help them and be a blessing to their lives, not only with the gospel, but with material goods. Be passionate, amen? Get some fire in your bones. Get excited. This is the work of the Lord, amen? This is what He's called us to. And this is what God has told us to do. That's what we're doing. It's awesome to touch people's lives. You will touch these people's lives for all eternity. You might not see it now, but you will see it one day. Amen? Yeah. For what we sow, that is what we will reap. Amen? Yeah. Praise the Lord. Here we go. God and say. God and say. How many of you God and say? How many of you love Jesus? God and say. Jesus wants to touch you. And he wants to change you. You see, Jesus waits with open arms. But you must make a decision to ask him to come into your life. Jesus will not push his way into your life. If you're saying right now, Pastor Paul, I want to receive Jesus into my heart. I want to be born again. I want Jesus to forgive me of my sins. And I want you to put up your hand. If that you put up your hand now, let me see that hand. Pastor Paul, pray for me. I want to receive Jesus. Father, it's the anointing that breaks the yoke. The bondage right now. As we lay hands on people, let every yoke be broken. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the holy name of Jesus. praise and all the glory and all the honor. Father, let no man, no ministry, no organization <laughs> ever take the glory. Yes. You deserve it all because yes, let him who glory, let him glory in the Lord. And we give you all the praise for the salvations today, yes. for the healings today. Thank you for that wonderful yes. aid that was healed, Lord. Yes. And so many others who didn't come and tell us, Lord, but thank you for their healing and their salvation, yes. that their lives are forever changed, Father. Yes, we give you thanks forevermore. For you are wonderful King Jesus. Started to sing and talk in his name. Push me down and said, I'm God. God in the same. God in the same. 